Another chicken in the woods adventure. Hello, it's me. We're going out again, metal detecting. Let's see if we can find anything. Hello, and welcome to welcome to another me adventure. Um, yeah, I already dug about three holes, but every single one's been armed with cable. But I did just get this. So, hasn't got a thing for a, uh, a um, ain't got a loop for a button. I can't see any picture, but it's about the thickness of a Roman. So I think our first find might be a little Roman coin. We'll check all these later anyway. But woohoo! Nice Roman. Hey, this could just be a natural piece. Uh, there does seem to be a bit of a bulb at the top there. Oh, just looked. Could be. Possibly. Could be a bit of retouch. Could just be chatter. But we'll pouch it anyway. I'm just going to reenact for you what I did. I pushed it back in because I'm not sure about this. Check this out. All right, so I saw this bit of fit. I thought I'd pull it. Look at the size of that. Now, I can't tell. I've had a look. Almost looks like it could be some working down this end and that. Look at the side of that! I'll check that with the flint site before I post this video up. That's interesting. Uh, probably nothing, it's probably just some... It's probably just a, a ploughed fact. Yeah. Wow, Jesus. We just pulled it out of the clod. It's a little button. Still got the loop on the back. No pictures on it or anything like that. Just making it all dirty. Oh, I'll tell you what. I wish you could smell this stuff. It is absolutely gross. It's been uh, swimming for about two weeks, so it's... Uh, Next out we have a little ring thing. Nothing special, it's just a little copper ring, it's not even a finger ring. Uh, on to the next one. So I don't film all this, but this is it. This is the dreaded armoured cable. Plastic covered, got some tin foily stuff inside, obviously come off some kind of wiring it is freaking horrible now oh God, about every maybe 20th 30th hole you might get something a button a bit of crap but no everything else is this stuff it's bloody hard work Rah! well nice screamer of a signal uh you see it I think it's one of our old friends. Go get one on every trip, ain't you? It's the old musket bow. Hey, musket bow. I think it's musket bow. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I think it's musket bow. Oh, look, it's smiling. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's a musket ball. Uh, can't see it that. It doesn't look like there's a hole all the way through it. So, I mean, I do get quite a few gaming pieces out of these fields, but no, I think that's an impacted musket ball. Oh well, on to the next one. Next up is a copper nail. 
A copper nail, yes, slightly square. It's an oldish one, but a copper nail. I know a man of the forest that wanted one of these. Excellent. Old copper nail. I just found Lionel's bed. Old Lionel Blair, he's been in there. Lionel Blair, hair. Yeah, I saw a few hairs earlier. Uh, one just ran off from down here. So that's uh, that's your hair scoop. That's where he rests and that. Bit of poop in the bottom there. Bit of poop. Hmm. Bit of poop. So yeah, you ever hear me screaming, Lionel Blair, in the middle of a field? Come back, Lionel. Uh, yeah, it's good luck. <laughs> See you in a bit. Could it finally be a toasty green? Hmm. Hmm, well, looks like there's a bit of plate silver on there, and it's not quite flat, slightly indented. I should imagine somewhere in that middle, was once its little loop. So, yep, yeah. button, oh, bugger. Never mind. So, we got for you. What they call them? Scutching plate or something? Uh, you know, bit goes on the door, stop the key from tearing up the hole. Uh, at least it's something. Alright, uh, I'm getting bloody hungry, so uh, start walking back uh, to the gateway over there. Uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, we go out on the way back. I'll film it. If I don't, I won't. And if not, I'll see you in show and tell. Before show and tell, here's some of today's shit. I will be pouring it with uh, some more of the shit that we found in there over the last few weeks. More cleaning brass. Uh, shit buckle. Yes, yeah, is four hole button. Yeah. Anyway, so what we got? We got some of that black and yellow armor cable. Uh, got some armor cable. It's, uh, it's a bit of armor cable. Some armor cable. Some armored cable. Uh, what's this? Oh, oh, armor cable. Uh, shit gun cap. Uh, got a couple of shit gun caps. Uh, another shit gun cap. Uh, we got a, a battery. I didn't actually I've just spotted that on the ground, but take it out anyway. Tin foil, tin foil, tin foil, bit of can. Some more crap, some crap, bit of crap. Oh, bit of wire, uh, bit of crap, and some crap. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. See you when I get home. So, let's do show and tell. Brought to you today from my pants. Uh, yeah, and today's finds have mostly been pants, so let's see what we got. Well, we got a little musket ball, uh, it's been fired at some point. Uh, we got some uh, bits of scrap lead, we got a fired bullet case. Uh, a little ring, hmm, yes, a uh, button with a loop, we got a four hole button, we got a button lost its loop, and another button lost its loop, which I thought was a toasty green. Uh, we got a spoon handle, or well, what's left of one, we got weird encrusted bronzy I don't know. Unknown thing. Got rust on. Bit of bronze. Don't know. Don't think it's that old though. Uh, we got some nice copper nails. I know somebody who's having one of those. Uh, got that weird bent pinny thing. But again, nothing interesting. We got. 
got uh, that, which is probably for putting air in the tyre. And this, which is, I'm pretty sure, is a little Roman coin. So that was about our best find today. I did make out a head on it somewhere. Uh, sorry. Uh, you can just, I think, make out the head. So that will be a little Roman. So, he's got a little Roman. Uh, let's go on to the flint find. So, the big one that we found in the field that I got all excited about. I actually think it's probably more than likely just plough damage. It does look like there is some working in there. But it could just be chatter. Uh, there is a somewhere else. Just there, almost looks like there's some working. But, not 100% sure about that, so I think it's just a, um, uh, yeah, a plow, a uh, plow glyph, uh, what a, a geo, whatever. It was done by the plow. Uh, this pit, uh, I thought, could be worked at the end. Yeah, I think that's another plow bit. Um... But, found this little orange one. Now, I'm pretty sure this orange one's been worked down there. Seems to be some nice little... Can't see a bulb on it. There is that. On back there. That's where I would have said the ball would have been, though. Just here. That was possibly where it struck. I mean, there is a, there is kind of a bulb if you look in the front. So that's probably a crude scraper. Uh, this one. It's just a looks like a natural piece, natural fragment again. Uh, probably a pot lid fracture look. But this one also, by the looks of it. The end's been turned into a crude end scraper. So, at least it was something. And probably my best thing, apart from the Roman coin today, is this one. Yeah, has your bulb percussion, but it seems to hinge slightly. So, it wasn't a brilliant piece. You can see it has slightly had some working around it. But it's when you get to this nice point, look. If you look there, it looks like it's been worked out in that side. I face the point towards you. And on the opposite, looks like the point's been worked there. So that's probably a borer or a piercer. So, at least we got something. So, I know it wasn't a brilliant trip out, but not everyone is for us. Anyway, hope to see you on the next one for another Chicken of the Woods adventure. I'll see you later. Catch you all soon.